Tonight, Multnomah County Animal Control is looking for one particular dog and its owner after that dog attacked a Portland man and his dog on the Springwater Corridor Trail. Sadly, the injured pet had to be put down. Fox News' Kendra Kent has the story you'll see only on 12. Animal Control tells us they are actively investigating this reported attack here at Southeast 145th and Ellis, right where the trail is. Now tonight, we did also speak with that devastated dog owner. He says that other dog should have never been on the trail, and now he's worried it might hurt someone else. Right here is where where I hit the ground, I'm sure. Scratches, band-aids covering bite marks, and a puncture wound to the face. Our doctor says I'm going to be fine. But uh, meanwhile, I have lots of pain and lots of sorrow. What hurts most of all? The loss of a beloved companion after 75-year-old John Hempstead says he and his dog were both attacked by a St. Bernard Sunday morning along the Springwater Corridor. Hempstead says his 5-year-old Sheltie named Jasmine didn't stand a chance after the St. Bernard pulled its leash loose from its owner and lunged. He was airborne at me, threw me like 10 feet into the brush. The animal got his teeth around my dog, and so I'm laying in the bush. My dog is bleeding all over the place, and uh, I finally got my left hand free and slugged him, and he let loose of her finally. Him said says he didn't have time to confront the dog's owner or try to get her information. He was focused on rushing Jasmine to an animal hospital where she had surgery, but the wounds were worse than expected. When they got in there, they found the liver was damaged and they found the, the wall, the, 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 chest wall the chest wall was damaged and um, we had a horrible choice to make. Goodbyes to faithful pets are never easy. She's great with the kids. She's wonderful with us. Now the family hopes to find the dog's owner and not only hold her accountable for thousands of dollars of medical bills. More than that, I'm hoping that something's done legally to keep that dog away from people. I'm over six foot and 200 pounds. That dog ate me up. <laughs> you know, if that dog would do that to me, what's it going to do to, you know, anybody? If you have any information about that St. Bernard or its owner, you are urged to contact Multnomah County Animal Control. Reporting tonight in Southeast Portland, Kendra Kent, Fox Oregon.